Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play some more Risk of Rain 2. I'm finally going to give the new character a try, the loader, I, and I just quickly wanted to see if... Because I'm, I'm pretty sure the challenges for a loader were previously uh, just completely blank. Uh, but I guess um, they must have unlocked, basically, uh, as soon as I unlocked the character. And because I just wanted to see if maybe there was a chance that I'd uh, unlock uh, one of his... One of his uh, new, or I guess his one new uh, alternate skill just by coincidence, but by doing a normal run, but man, uh, reach and proceed through the Celestial Portal in 25 minutes or less that's stage 7 in 25 minutes or less, that's <sighs> wow, that's uh... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, honestly, that's extremely fast I've never played the game that fast it's basically speedrun, I mean that's what, 3 and something minutes per stage? Holy crap. And then of course we have Obliterate Yourself at um, the Obelisk on Monsoon, which I'm not going to do uh, now anyway, because I want to give the new character a gentle try on Rainstorm. So this is the first time of me actually seeing this guy here, or girl I guess. Um, overview... <clears throat> Slow but powerful bruiser. Slow, huh? Uh, use our grappling hook to uniquely navigate the environment. Sekiro style, I guess. Well, not exclusively Sekiro, but it's from recent memory. Uh, scrap memory allows you allows Loader to remain in the fight as long as you're still punching. Maybe I should just... No. Grapple fist can be used to traverse quickly, dodge enemy attacks, or increase your speed for a massive charged gauntlet damage boost. Okay, charged gauntlet can be used for both gap closing and as a proper finishing move to nearby enemies. Remember that M551, M55I pylon? Is that supposed to mean something? Can be used as a grapple, grapple, grapple point for both you and any allied loader as well. Okay, since I'm playing. Not multiplayer. Um, it's not gonna happen. Scrap barrier. The loader is immune to fall damage. Good. Striking enemies with the loader's gauntlets grants a temporary barrier. Okay, so as long as you're punching, you have some sort of barrier built in. Uh, built in jewel brooch. Wait, no, what's it? Topaz brooch, my god. Uh, knuckle boom, swing at nearby enemies. Okay, so that's just your regular attack, of course. Grapple fist, fire your gun forward, pulling you to the target. Wait, that would be right click then, right? Hmm, interesting. Pulling you to the target. Hmm. Uh, charge donkey, charge up a massive punch for 600 to 7 to 2700% damage. Since you're flying forward, deal significantly more damage the faster you're moving. Hmm. Okay. And the pylon. Throw a floating pylon that zaps up to six nearby enemies for 100% damage. Can't be grappled. My god. This sounds complicated, but we'll see how it plays. <clears throat> Definitely sounds interesting, too. I'm not sure if this is going to be the character for me, because I... As... I don't know. As much as I like slow and methodical gameplay in other games... In this one, oh, well, I mean, he doesn't feel or, like it, she doesn't feel slow. So there's that. Okay, so we punch. Yep, that's very slow though. Oh, and there's a significant cooldown on the grapple. Yes, there should be, I guess. Um, right, cannot sprint while punching or vice versa. That oh. Right, that's the pylon. Wait, what? I grappled it though. You have to hold it? Oh. And then you. That's weird. It doesn't automatically pull you, it doesn't seem. Wait. Okay, no, wait, you hold it. Oh god, this is. Uh, hmm. That's gonna kinda get, take some getting used to. So I'm just holding the button now and. She's just hovering like that. Oof. Yeah, okay, I'm literally getting the Topaz Barrier effect here. Topaz Approach effect. I mean, that's neat, actually. The damage is pretty nice. Um, okay. So you actually have to... Okay, so you grapple onto something, and while you're standing on solid ground, I guess it doesn't do anything. But as soon as you're in the air, it's, it tries to pull you toward it, yeah. Or if you're already in the air, you'll fly toward it. Okay. 
Um, yeah, so dealing with uh, flying enemies, huh? I mean, I guess that helps. Um, okay. Hadn't even tried the, the shift thing yet. Okay, I charge that, and... Okay, that propels you forward nicely and deals a good amount of damage. Okay, actually, even if you don't charge it very long, it's it's decent. It this definitely feels feels so so different than everything else. Um. Oh boy. Uh, I mean, I like to crit. I definitely need to get used to using this a, lot, a whole lot more because, yeah, that's just a ton of damage. Also, I mean, I it, it makes sense and it's kind of necessary that the grappling hook has a long cooldown, but man, it feels pretty restrictive. If you miss with that, well, tough luck. There, have one of those, and uh, um, okay, so reaching flying enemies by grappling onto them. Not really an option, unfortunately, because this is going to happen. I mean, this is kind of wild, but uh, not super helpful. So, yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I mean, I guess eventually, hopefully, I'll have multiple jumps, so that will help. But until then... Ugh. Okay, uh, maybe I should actually start playing the game instead of just fooling around. I mean, this is super interesting, but this is so different. Um, I mean, yes, I, I have the chrysalis too. Is it chrysalis? Yes. Chrysalis, 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 I, I don't know. That was a miss. Uh, there, I have that thing. I, I mean, I, I guess I can probably, like, launch myself into the air as well. Oh yeah, I totally can. Okay, I mean, that helps. Actually, it's an amazing traversal skill. And the cooldown is really short on this one. But, yeah. <laughs> well, you still have to hit for it to do something. And, yeah, wisps are gonna be a real problem, aren't they? And I keep repeating myself, but I don't know about this one. I think this is not for me, but I probably shouldn't be giving up this easily. Uh, okay, well, that... <laughs> That by itself doesn't do anything. Let me please. What? What did I even do? Oh, nothing. That's what. Okay, let's charge it and uh, charge right through her. Right between her legs. Uh, God, I, I'm flailing. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm somehow killing things and not dying, just courtesy of playing on normal difficulty. Can't wait to see other people play this with you know any amount of skill. I kind of wish, honestly, I I wish they that um, grappling hook and right mouse were swapped because that feels I don't know that like it would make more sense. Sure, the the charge is also a powerful movement, as I just said, but. I don't know, though. Having the grappling hook on mouse 2 feels wrong. It's so weird. It's, it's feeling like I'm not playing Risk of Rain 2 at all. It's just... I don't know. It's so hard to, to put my finger, my finger on. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm still trying to get used to what the skills even do, and I'm, I haven't really started playing the game for real, if that makes sense. I'm only now starting to actually focus on killing enemies. I mean, I guess with the exception of that, of the boss. Uh, sure, let's just keep moving. I don't even know what I should do with this run. I mean, obviously I'm not going to really 
get anywhere. But then again, it is only on normal, so I don't know, maybe... Maybe it's not gonna be that hard. I'm, I am killing things very quickly, if I can get to them. And yes, that I'm, I realize that that's what um, Grappling Hook is supposed to help with. It's just so many things to coordinate and that's just not my strong suit. Uh, okay, uh, what is this? Obviously we don't have any money, so it doesn't even matter. Well, it kind of does matter. It's backup magazine. Uh, I mean, I guess that... Honestly, those are going to be pretty helpful with this character. More so than most others, maybe? No, I guess it's al always helpful. Right? Having multiple grappling hooks, if you miss one... This is, this is not a, sp a skill that you're going to spam, usually, but, you know. This is one where having a backup, if you... If you miss the first... Also, thank goodness for no fall damage. Um, yeah, that that's gonna be really helpful. So, that being said, I still can't afford it, though. Can I? Maybe I can. 51, oh. For some reason I thought it was much more expensive. Should I get get it? Uh, maybe I should have. Actually, attack speed, though. Uh, I thought it was going to be more noticeable, given how slow it was before. I mean, I guess it is obviously faster, but not by as much as I was maybe hoping for. But stacking attack speed... Yeah, it's definitely gonna make this this guy feel this girl, my god, feel super powerful. Like I mean she already feels powerful, just it's just everything else that feels so weird. I think I'm slowly getting used to it. Obviously I'm not making I'm well aware that I'm not making uh, ideal, not even not even adequate use of my abilities. I am aware of that, in case you were wondering. Nope, that- oh, that actually hit that guy. And that did not. Okay, I kinda wanna get some stuff. I have enough for three regular chests, which is nice. Let's see if I can launch myself up there. I totally can. <clears throat> okay. Offensive chest, yes please, there's a tier two there. I can get. I could be using my my charge dash much more as a movement skill. How do I get this? Uh, I don't know. Just because I can, I suppose. What do we get? Of course. Well, let's see how this works. Oh, I, um... Oh, okay. Wait, this doesn't work! Oh, it kinda does. No, it doesn't. Good old standing on Vagrant. Punching. Um, okay, so hitbox? For the punches is something. I wonder if I should just do this. I mean, it's nice damage, but... Oh god. Oh god! Please, just stop swinging! Also, I I haven't used my pylon in, like, forever. Oh, okay. Weird. You stay attached, too. I, for some reason, I thought it, it automatically stopped, and I'm... What? I didn't... Take any damage from that? What? What's going on, even? I... Okay. Sure. Another Berserker's Pauldron. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Oh man, this is this is crazy. I don't know what's going on. I one shot that golem. Nice, nice. Okay, actually, what what does tapping the the charge do? Ah, it just gives you a very very weak little boost. Not worth it, obviously. No! Oh yes, I hit. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'm. I thought for sure that I would miss. There. I should really just be putting down pylons on cooldown.
Well, I mean... I guess I really should give this character a try on Monsoon, at least once, just so I see how how bad I really am with it, because I'm, I feel like I have no reason being as successful as I am. Successful as in not yet dead, I guess. No, just move on. I'm sure I'm going to run into some kind of wall, even on normal difficulty. Did I not? Okay. But for the time being, it's going surprisingly well. Nope, that's... Yeah, I don't know. If Maybe there's a way to swap... Uh, button mappings for... Individual characters, because... I definitely would like to give this a try. Having that charge on right mouse button would feel so good, would feel so natural to me. Yes, it's a movement skill, but it's primarily also a really strong attack with a relatively short cooldown. Feels like it would be perfect on right mouse. Aw, oh, too bad there is no damage by landing on enemies. By default. Get wrecked or not? Okay, I guess because I was not actually moving forward, it didn't deal as much damage as I expected. But it was nice how I kept bumping into him. You know what? Uh, sure. Please take my. Oh, well, yeah, at this point, I might as well invest everything into sprint speed. Okay. I mean, that doesn't help with uh, charge tackle bonus, uh, ta tackle damage bonus, because you can't do that while running. I wonder if uh, go to regular attack speed, uh, regular movement speed, um, actually allows you to keep walking faster. I mean, probably, right? It's your normal movement speed? Yeah, pretty much. So, unless that gets additionally. Produced. <laughs> Look at that. He doesn't seem to know what to do, really. Is he even attacking? I guess he's fine there? Huh. Okay. So, looks like as long as you can get close to a Clay Templar, they're really not that scary on this character. Which is definitely a nice change of pace. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. I feel like I was going to starting to say something semi-interesting. Alright, about movement speed, yeah. Because it says that uh, the charge deals more damage the faster you're moving. By the time, it, at the moment of, of starting the charge, I, I presume. Definitely seemed to work when I... That one time I, I was wildly flailing, wildly swinging around the the Wandering Vagrant, and then started to charge the thing. And the fire trail damage from fire elites is going to be a little bit of a problem, as is, you know, getting attacked by shock elites. But, so yeah, that one time I, I used the the charge while doing this, basically. Um, completely missed. Right. There, have a pylon, have... Uh, I guess that's it. Fully charged, and please hit! Okay, I, I mean, I guess I hit, and I'm still attached to him. Nope, no longer. Oh god, oh god. Uh, help? This is so weird. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm punching, at, but I'm getting wrecked. Okay. And I'm not even sure what killed me there. Doomstrider, apparently. Was he spawning more balls? Was he... Was, what was even going on? Holy crap. Um, this is pure chaos. 
as I said, I, I can't wait to see someone play this character well. You know, this might be a super short episode. I'm just going to to give it a try on Monsoon. I, I know this is going to be over within minutes. I mean, it usually is, but within single digit minutes, probably. Yeah, sure. Let's do that, I'll feel confident. Um, I just want to see how ridiculous this is. I mean, we still one-shot them. Still fly into the air like it's nothing. Uh, I mean, I guess I would like this in case it's... There's another freaking shrine at the moment, are you kidding? I wish you'd actually pull small enemies toward you because this is kind of terrible. <laughs> hmm, what do I do with this? I mean, okay. Thankfully, they sometimes come toward me, but when they don't, that's a bit of a problem. Alright, 36, that's just enough. Red Whip, okay, I mean, that helps a little bit. I mean, I really should not do that, but here I am. Might as well. Honestly, I don't even know how long that first run was going. Like, 15 minutes or something? Not very long. So, Doom Strider... Uh, I don't know. Um, the Wandering Vagrant seemed surprisingly easy to deal with. I mean, get on top of it and punch it, even though the hitbox is a little bit awkward, but... That worked surprisingly well. The Jin Strider, I mean, I probably shouldn't have been swinging around it uncontrollably. But then what's the alternative? Punch its legs? Do those even have hitboxes? Or is it just the body? I guess I usually aim for the body. Uh, yes, movement speed. That feels significantly faster. Oh, because... Because whip. Um... Two Shrines of the Mountain, huh? I probably should be getting something. Some kind of item. Anything, really. Okay. Regen is actually good, if I can get away from enemies fat for long enough. That's actually... Definitely... It, it was one of my favorites before, but it might be my favorite tier 1 healing item. Or, you know, just healing item. Period. Uh, Brooch is super nice, of course. Strengthening this character's natural strengths even more. Okay. Ha! <laughs> nice. Didn't kill him, but... There, have one of those. Nice, nice. Um, more movement speed? I mean, I probably should, right? Or, no. Some more variety. Actually, my movement speed feels kind of okay already. Surprisingly. Definitely doesn't feel as slow as multi. There, one of those. Okay. And I should probably start the teleporter. I mean, I probably should not if I want to live. Just keep doing this forever. Let's see how crazy this is. I mean, honestly, it's not as bad for now as I imagined it would be. I thought I would stand absolutely no chance whatsoever. Okay, have a... Have a this. Oh boy. Okay. Pylon is doing some good work. Okay, okay, ooh. Uh, okay, I that was not expecting that momentum to swing me around like that. Okay, um, there, have another drone. Oh, that guy's already dead and I wouldn't, didn't even reach him. What a weak charge. Okay. Fully charged. And, whoo, no. No! Yep. Surprised I didn't take any damage there. 
Do you not normally damage yourself or get damaged by cleaning yourself off the map somehow? Like, please? Okay. There, have another uh, pylon. This barrier is actually super strong. Even on Monsoon. I was not expecting that. I mean, it didn't save me against the Doomstrider before, but maybe because I wasn't really hitting it. Okay, you need to go. Oh god. No! <laughs> Saved myself, at least. Okay. Uh. okay have another one of those. Punching. Keep punching and everybody explodes. Right, basically. Oof. Uh, is that still the same freaking guy? There we go, finally. Grapple! Oh my god. Pure madness! What is this? <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess I'm occasionally punching something. Uh, there. No! I keep forgetting that it's gonna fl fling me way past my enemies. Oh boy. Okay. There. Another pylon. Okay, absolutely make sure when you fling yourself, have a wall where, where you're going. Definitely not a hole or, you know, some other undesirable place. Okay, sure. Monsoon, two mountain shrines. Nothing can even touch me. What is going on? How unlucky was I with that Jin Strider first before my... What do we get? Uh, of course. Well, at least we got a beetle guard, which helps a little bit, I guess. Shouldn't we be getting two extra items? I did activate both mountain shrines, right? Oh, there we go. I just missed it before. I mean, yay, two left on daisies. I guess, if nothing else, we should probably always be inside the teleporter range during, during the boss fight event with this character, because there's really no kiting around or, you know, fighting bosses from afar. Kind of lame that you, or kind of unfortunate, I guess, that you cannot um, keep charging your... What's it called? What actually is it called? Uh, charged Gauntlet. Well, you're charged, basically. Uh, while sprinting, because it does scale with movement speed, right? But you don't typically have much movement speed while charging it, so... Also, okay. Good thing I seem to one-shot Jellyfish. Because otherwise that would be awkward. How much is this? 83. Should be maybe able to afford it? Yes, easily. Um, well, if I had a use item, that would be nice. I wonder, is there any any particular mo uh, use item that would work especially well with this character? Hmm. Well, now it kind of worked, honestly. Hmm. I mean, I don't. I can't really think of anything off the, uh, off the top of my head right now that would make more sense than on any other character. Maybe a healing item? I mean, obviously, it, it's it's basically the same choice for as for any other character, I feel. It doesn't really seem like there's any obvious difference just because this is so, such a melee-centric character. And there already was a melee character before, right? So it's not like this is completely novel. Just the exact execution is very different. 
not the fact that it's a character that wants to be always close to enemies. More movement speed. I mean, yes. Thank you. I'm gonna take that brooch, I think. As much as I said earlier that uh, having additional backup magazines would be pretty amazing on this character. Um, yeah, I also don't think I'm going to, even with a ton of backup magazines, I'm not going to make uh, that much more use of my uh, grappling hook. It's just too awkward to use, really. Maybe it's, maybe I'll get used to using it a bit more, but I definitely like this charge so much more for similar purposes. Like, actually it does just such a better job, in my opinion. Sure, the, there's certainly a lot of potential to use the, the hooking onto bosses, for example, or larger enemies and swinging around them, staying close to them uh, with the grappling hook that I just can't really fully exploit because I'm not good at that kind of thing, that kind of coordinating multiple things, multiple variables that also require skill to, to employ. Um, but yeah, just for the purposes of getting somewhere, moving forward, moving upward, moving anywhere, really. Um, and at the same time dealing massive damage to my enemies, the, the charge is just so much more convenient. Anyway, uh, there was something I wanted to grab up here. Yeah, the bro... no, not... yes? Brooch. And I have enough money to buy more things, but I guess I'm going to activate this first. Oh boy, okay. This is the real test, I feel. There. One of those. And he's going to just start lasering me. And I wonder if just keeping punching is enough. I mean, it seems to give me a ton of barrier, holy crap. Is it gonna be enough to survive the laser? That's the question. The laser which he's surprisingly not even using yet. I know it's you're it's supposed to work uh, that way that when as so long as you stay behind him and he never gets to lock onto you, he will not use his laser, but uh, I mean typically it's enough for him to just turn ever so slightly like so and he will lock onto you. I'm really surprised that he did not do that. Okay, maybe this character is just super overpowered and I died on that on, on Rainstorm for no reason whatsoever. Honestly, I'm not sure what's going on. Thanks for the healing pulse, I guess. Thanks for the stealth kit. Get punched. Well, I mean, it's, I don't know why, but it's somehow working, so... Who am I to complain? I guess I am slowly but surely making more, you know, deliberate use of my abilities rather than just clicking buttons and hoping that something works in my favor. I don't know what I would have done differently. I guess I. Maybe I should have tried getting on top of the Dune Place Rider. I don't even know if that's possible with the same way it is with... Oh, wait, this is gonna fling me off, isn't it? Uh, yes, kind of. There's a use item, finally. Um, uh, this is the worst use item, though. Quite possibly actually the worst use item. I don't know if I've ever used it on camera. I mean, it's, it's just really bad. You, um... Um... Okay, I messed up. I didn't expect to, to fall off there. That was my bad, obviously. Who else is bad would it, would it be? So yeah, basically it, I don't know, creates a, a zip line between two points that you specify. I thought you, you specified two points. Wait, or is this, no, no, that, that is that item, right? 
Yeah, quantum tunnel between two locations. I don't know why it didn't let me choose two locations. I guess because I was falling. That must be what threw me off. Literally threw me off that cliff. Oh well. Um, I mean, thanks, I guess. I wasn't really expecting this run to go anywhere. As I've said multiple times. I guess now it's going to last even longer. Okay. I'm not getting... Or will we, actually? Might we, might we be able to make it all the way up there? Uh, yes, actually. Barely, but... Wow. I did not expect to fly that high up. That's pretty crazy. What a crazy character. I mean, you, you might have noticed, but I'm actually finding myself liking this character more and more. Much more than I first thought. Not sure if I'm really ever going to be very good with it, but I mean, I, I seem to be doing alright. Right. Might as well just collect more items. I mean, obviously one of the big things is that I have yet to figure out is what synergizes well, how, you know, stacking certain items works with this character. If anything, you know, if there are any synergies, any interactions that are not obvious right away. There's a key. Uh, I think I'm probably picked up most items. It's been up there. I guess there wasn't anything there. A double jump would be awesome, needless to say it's awesome on any character. I mean, missiles are nice. I'm not going to gamble for another use item because I actually like mi missiles very much. Instead I'm going to buy this item here, wasting even more time. Uh, uh, oh wow, yeah I have to take this. This is the item designed for this character because you will basically never damage anything that's not near you. So yeah, that's just a straight up how much? Actually it doesn't doesn't say. I think it's like a 13? Is that right? 13% damage increase? Or is that within 13 meters? You get a so and so much damage increase? I'm... I don't know. Probably making that up. Well, it's this stage again. Um... Okay, that's true, I guess. Not terrible, since we are, again, going to be mostly close to enemies as we kill them. Ooh! Okay. Got some missiles. Okay. That's a Clay Templar on Monsoon. I, I keep looking up at the difficulty icon, thinking that I might have accidentally not started on Monsoon. So I feel like I should not be having such an easy time here. Oh, you are not my friend, actually. <laughs> Wait, no, you're not. What? If you're not my friend, what were you trying to attack there? It certainly looked like that Beetle Guard was trying to attack the, the end. Huh. Okay, where am I even trying to go? Like there? Up there? Oh yeah, I think I see particle, particle effects up there. No, maybe? I don't actually think I do. These guys seem so confused. I'm pretty sure they actually have some, some kind of pretty strong melee bash attack with their massive cannon. But when you're super close to them, they hardly ever seem to use it. Very strange. Um, more attack speed? Yeah, I guess. Oh no, okay, there's the sparklies. They look white, uh, white in front of this background. And they're normally kind of reddish? Strange. Oh, what? Did I just one-shot that guy? How even... Okay. You know what? 
I don't think you launch pads. Ah, uh, nah. Don't want to lose my other stuff. Wait, where's the thing, actually? Oh, it's literally right below me. Um, wait. Oh, I don't even have nearly enough money. Okay, also, this guy is actually kind of tough. These things hit pretty hard. But so do I, so... Okay. Still a little bit scary. Uh, yeah, that was a complete whiff. And again, I... That's definitely... Oh, no. It's definitely one thing I need to work on. Is... Um, just using my... Placing the pylon on, on cooldown, basically. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage here, all of a sudden. Feels like my luck is turning. Nope. That's a miss. What was I even trying to do? There's a healing shrine there. There's a bunch of items over here, actually. Oh, slowly coming back. Uh, I mean, I suppose I might as well be stacking this. Hmm, didn't punch out that one, even remotely. Maybe I just crit that one time before. I didn't see the, the actual damage number. Okay. Let's grab this down here. And... Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. Sure. There we go, stacking daisies. Um, should I? I keep forgetting, where's the freaking teleporter? It's done it. It's too far away. I mean, I, I could save up for that drone. Should I? It's not gonna take that long, actually. Not sure how useful it's going to be, all things considered, but here we are. Health is full. Got Imp Overlord. Oh boy. Okay. First of all, have some missiles, everyone. What? No! They all missed! Ah. Uh, so mean. Oh boy. Am I even hitting that guy at all? Not really? Come on. Okay, uh, there. Go. Um, that wisp is not dying. What's going on? It's... Okay, now it's dead. Holy crap. I'm not doing so hot. Okay, there we go. The healing pulse. I was waiting for that one. Oh! Oh! Um, wait. Yeah, Alright. Just fall off. I guess that works. Kill this guy. Where's the boss? There, have another of those. No, seriously though, where is the boss? What is even going on? The overlord is taking damage from something? Oh, he's there. Um, okay. Okay, that somehow does a little bit of damage to it, I think. What is this? Another drone? Oh, my drone actually died totally. Yeah, that must be what happened. No, okay. That kind of worked. Well, okay. At least I didn't fall off. Not that it seems to really be that bad when you do. Okay. 
Uh, well, frozen, but thankfully that doesn't matter. And I actually beat the stage got further here than I did on, on Rainstorm. Holy crap. But again, boss fight, pure chaos. Like, yeah, I don't know. The real test, of course, is can I make the first loop? And we have the stage with a bunch of flying enemies. So, yay. I wonder if I should just go for... Uh, well, I mean, I guess on the plus side they sometimes land. Six, six punches, at least. They're beefier than I thought. Um, yeah, I wonder if I should just go ahead and... Uh, look for the teleporter immediately. I know what I definitely should not do. That is break eggs. So I do not want to have to fight the, the the optional enemy. Of course. Oh, hi. I don't even know where uh, the teleporter can spawn on this stage. Only ever really seen it like out here in this big open area. Um, okay, that just flung me somewhere. But the guy isn't even dead. Oh no! Oh no! I'm so dead. I should be. Um, thank goodness for the barrier. That definitely saved me. Jesus, yeah, I mean, Ella Lemurian and at least two Greater Wisps shooting me all at the same time. Again, I, I definitely should be dead. Especially on Monsoon. Can I even jump up here? Oh, uh, kind of? Almost? Not straight up here, but... I mean, I... Okay, that works. It's an awkward, but... I'm not complaining. Now, where's that teleporter? out here. Yeah, I've seen it in around this location here before. More passive regen. I like it. Oh, we're a freaking lightning vulture. Oh boy. Okay, of course we got the new boss. Oh no. Up. Oh well, that was... Oh, oh, I'm... I'm an idiot. Forgot about the freaking... Dio's friend. Wait, 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 wait. We get two wandering vagrants and this guy? Excuse me? Uh. You freaking what now? Uh. Help? What killed me the first time? I guess I was actually the vagrants shooting me with. Oh, I don't know. It was a bunch of. Glowing projectiles flying my way. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter whether it was the vagrants or the oh. or the new guy. Oh no! I mean, yeah, it's it's true. So long as you're punching things, you're almost unkillable. Look at that! Look at my my shield going up. Almost keeping up with the damage I'm taking. What is even happening? Oh no. I mean, now I'm dead. Wait. Yes. Okay. Jesus! What? How? Yeah, getting to cover while fighting multiple vagrants, that is gonna be a thing. <sighs> Taking, keeping, uh, keeping track of how damaged they all are and where cover is, and because it actually takes quite a bit of effort and time to to get to cover on this character, right? And, I mean, I guess depending on the surroundings, but in this case, for example, I guess I could have taken cover behind that pillar, but that would have required me to actually keep track of where I was, where my enemies were, which of the vagrants was starting to explode, and then 
Also, as soon as I stop, as I would have stopped uh, attacking, I would have died basically instantly because, yeah, punching things was all that was keeping me alive there. That was crazy. But hey, I, I made it farther than I ever expected on Monsoon difficulty. My God. Um, what a what a character! Super interesting. Feels like it has potential to be incredibly good. Uh, definitely fun to play, but obviously I'm light years away from mastering it. I'm I, I keep repeating myself, but I'm so so surprised that I made it as far as I did. Uh, I'm definitely going to be playing it more in the future, uh, possibly also on video. Uh, I mean, as always, leave me comments, send me give me any kind of feedback. Uh, if you want to see any particular character more, I can probably manage to, you know, slip in a video or two uh, of that. Other than that, I'm probably going to be playing more Huntress. Maybe not that many more times on camera, because it's definitely going to get old. I don't know, there is there are obviously some of the new challenges added, that some of which I might be able to do. Like, for example, uh, there's that Commando challenge. I mean, there's uh, Obliterate Yourself on Monsoon with almost all classes. All classes except for um, for uh, engineer, I think. Doesn't have a new skin. Oops. Yeah, um, challenges. Still need to die. Two more fiery deaths. It looks like a commando. Land the killing blow on an overloading worm. I mean, yeah. That, for example, is just going to happen eventually on a long run. It's not even a big challenge at all. Just have a long run, basically. Um, as Commando, clear 20 stages in a single one without picking up any lunar items. I mean, again, long run, not picking up lunar items, big deal. I don't really do that all that much anyway. Then Mastery, uh, Multi, Land the Killing Blow, and Imp Overlord with the Prion Accumulator. I mean, that's pretty specific, but I guess, again, just have a decent multi run. Have the Prion Accumulator is the biggest challenge there, and it almost all of these can be done on, on any difficulty, so yeah. Uh, defeat two Beetle Queens without leaving the Teleporter Zone, again, uh, going to happen on a good run. Um, this one, yeah, this one needs a lot of luck. Scale two, but mostly luck, uh, because basically it means finish that stage super quickly, kill everything have everything explode before it even gets a chance to touch it, because it's so easy to take some tiny little amount of chip damage somewhere. And yeah, even on a super good run. Uh, 12 minions at once, I mean, I guess, again, be lucky, find lots of drones, and that's going to happen eventually. Uh, defeat the teleporter boss in less than 5 seconds. Again, I mean, uh, on certain runs you will have that happen. Artificer. Right, uh, kill 15. I mean, again, it's actually super easy to stay in the air as Artificer now with their floating mechanic. I have not played a lot with that, but that seems like it shouldn't be that hard. Multi-kill of 20 enemies. I mean, that seems like a lot, but if that counts as... Uh, in, if that takes into account things exploding or things getting killed, you know, as, as a, in a chain reaction and not literally at the same time, that should... Also, again, happen in the long run. I mean, most of these just require you to have a good run, and that's it. Um, and then there are some very notable exceptions where, you know, they're almost impossible to do, like Huntress not taking damage. Um, mercenary, don't touch the ground for 30 seconds. I mean, yeah, again, I guess... Wouldn't that be super... Wouldn't that be trivial with uh, Milky Chrysalis? Because that, that must count, right? That does keep you in the air for 30 seconds, I think. Does it? Maybe not that long. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, complete a prismatic trial without... Oh, wow, yeah, this one. I actually tried this a couple of times off-camera, uh, when at a time where people specifically said that the challenge was relatively easy, um, because it had a, a bunch of topaz brooches, but I just couldn't even get close. That's That's a tough one. And I'm not good at playing mercenary. That does not help. Yep. Uh, complete an entire teleporter event while under 50% health. That seems technically not hard, but it, it requires a lot of concentration and fine control, which, again, I'm lacking, unfortunately. Uh, I like the character, but I'm not super good with the whole health management. 
Um, well, and then there's this one, which seems super tough. I mean, yes, you have you have a ton of movement options, and you can really just fling yourself toward the teleporter right away. But and I guess you can do it on on uh, drizzle difficulty as well. And in fact, it's anything else is completely unreasonable. But still, that's a that requires you to be really really fast to pick up only the bare minimum of items, only what's literally in your way, and you know you're not going to be able to afford much anyway because you're you don't spend any time on the stages basically just the teleporter and then maybe a minute extra tops so yeah uh, I mean I can work towards a bunch of these I guess just do a do a bunch of runs on on rainstorm difficulty no need to always be playing on monsoon of course uh, I might also play on Monsoon a little bit more to unlock uh, additional skins for characters. So yeah, there's still definitely plenty to do for me, plenty for me to do. Um, again, um, feel free to drop me a comment. Let me know if you'd like to if you'd like to see anything in particular. If not, I'm just going to maybe record the occasional video when I feel like it, and you know, of whatever just comes to mind at the time. Um, and that's enough rambling on my part. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.